Hi, I'm Carl Azus. I'm the anchor of CNN 10, which was previously known as CNN Student News, and being on air with these shows has given me the blessing of having my work viewed by millions of people across America and on every continent but Antarctica. CNN 10 is teaming up with AT&T's Youth Voices Collective, a program developed to support student expression and to teach writing and journalism skills to young writers. Collaborating organizations include 826 National, Six Feet of Separation, and Vox ATL. In fact, it's from Vox ATL, Atlanta's home for uncensored teen publishing and self-expression, that we have a question from a student. Hi, Carl. My name is Isaac Chapman. I'm from Gwinnett County. And I was wondering what advice you would give to an aspiring on-screen or film journalist like myself. Thanks. And I'm happy to share some ideas about that right now for AT&T's Youth Voices Collective. First, you gotta get comfortable being in front of the camera. You could be addressing topics ranging from COVID-19 to a cat named Waffles that can't jump. And you don't wanna be waffling on how to present your subjects. So practice being on camera with a variety of topics. You might've heard the saying that a writer writes, a baker bakes, a carpenter carpets. But if you wanna be good on camera, you gotta work at being good on camera. One piece of advice I give to aspiring reporters is to take a few minutes every day to record yourself. Get comfortable talking to a lens like you're talking to a friend. Read some paragraphs from your diary or journal. That's doing on a small scale what news reporters do in a larger one. Download our show transcripts at CNN10.com and read a few paragraphs from them. That's what I used to do when I started out. And when you do that, don't try to imitate me or any other reporter. Next thing I'd tell you to do sounds like a cliche, but you gotta be yourself. Too many people, especially young reporters just starting out, play the role of a reporter. It's like they're actors trying to look the part of a newsreader without actually being one. You don't want to sound like you're acting, and you don't want to sound like you're reading. You can see here the trees behind me are all still standing. Even the trees can tell you nobody talks like that. You've got to learn to report a story like you're sitting in a coffee shop and talking to a friend. You're discussing something you're somewhat knowledgeable about and really engaged with. And that brings me to my next piece of advice. If you're not particularly interested in your subject, get there. You'll come off very flat otherwise. Some people say the woods can be a scary place, but they're not scary for campers. No one wants to listen to that guy. Here's how I do it. Some people say the woods can be a scary place, but they're not scary for campers, unless they've been watching horror movies. Scary movies aside, it's being engaged with whatever subjects you're covering that will convey a sense of interest to the viewer, and that will make you far more interesting to watch. Thing is, it took me several years to get on air once I decided that's what I wanted to do. And I've done everything I just told you about. I practiced, sometimes after midnight when my news work was wrapped up. I tried to play the role of a reporter and looked kind of fake. My delivery was so flat at one point that I almost put myself to sleep watching it. But as you learn through repetition, being yourself and getting engaged with every topic you're given, you'll learn to bring your own energy and personality to the screen. And that's something your viewers will remember. On behalf of AT&T's Youth Voices Collective and CNN 10, I'm Coral Azus.